Greetings to you all, Yisrael. Ria here with another video. Yisrael, feed yourself. Simply, that we must be a people about the Father's business that the world can see a genuine care for each other. An esteeming <laughs> exaltation of the nation. And there is a care that is so real that even the world marvels at it. All I see is disgusting attitudes, some of the most vile epithets against each other, some of the most insane attitudes with each other, and it's, 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 it's evil and sadistic. So I going to teach us and show us my little part how to grow and feed yourselves and how to take a small amount of space. I want to show you something today, all right? I was going to show you, and next week we'll do that, one of the most important things in any kind of strong construct or community, and it is called water. And I will show you our ponds. I will take my fishing rod and maybe go down and catch a fish before I began the video and show you how we keep our ponds clean and keep fish in them so if we have to throw a net out there to catch fish, we can. So we need to learn how to feed ourselves and you need to learn how to grow. And listen to me, let me say again to all of us, organic growing is not inexpensive. This community, I was thinking about my little house here and I was talking to my friend here, I paid $1,500 for it. I have around five thousand dollars in this house maybe a little more because i just reconfigured the bedroom and the bathroom i would not want to be in a position where i got a mortgage of twelve thirteen hundred dollars a month two thousand dollars a month and you work 30 years that's insane to me i'd rather live in a shack and save every nickel and then after i get old then ah uh, if i want to build me something I could, but that's not a sense of caring. It's not comradeship. Some of you all, you only see each other on the Shabbat or during your service time or your church time. You call them church. You never see each other again. So how can you feed someone with love and care? We really don't care about each other. And you're the ones that you're very bodacious. You talk a lot that you care, you love everyone and you love no one. But what I'm going to do today these are three varieties of cucumbers I order from different places from the Johnny Seeds. They sell organic seed and non-organic, and they have a great variety. They sell hybrid seeds, and they also sell heirloom. Heirloom and hybrid. Hybrids are seeds that you take the uh, certain components of a seed of that family, you cause that to be a must into one DNA, and so resist a lot of the things. Let no one tell you, most of the things you buy at the stores are hybrids. And to grow heirloom is going to take an attentive nature to that. So we grow a mixture of heirlooms and hybrid seeds. We grow that. And the hybrids, are, are, uh, the heirlooms are seeds that you can save the seeds, uh, and they will last at least five years. They're not going to last you 20 years, let no one kid you. Hybrids are seeds that you can save them, but each year the productivity is dampered or it, is, it's, it's, it, it, it doesn't produce as much. It is diminished, and so the seeds will not produce like uh, an heirloom. And all heirloom seeds, you may get 80%. 70% and that's depends on how you nurture your soil and so when I say that's organic growing it's expensive it is that's why that is the most expensive product in the store now I want to show you something here I have my seeds here and then I have a mixture of fertilizer here oh stop that I have a mixture of fertilizer all organic fertilizer <laughs> I have a mixture here. You need nitrogen, phosphorus, and phosphate. And so this is some 214 
zero, and then I got some phosphorus. I added a little of this, and you see that blue in there? That is a very powerful, nice organic supplement, all right? So I will mix according to what I have and make my own concoctions because there are things that need a lot of nitrogen, like cucumbers and greens and things like that, and like corn, they need nitrogen. And see, and that's some starter, that blue is like starter fertilizer, okay? Now this is what I'm going to do. I will show you what I would do. I already have the bed set up right here. We have harvested the onions out of this bed. I utilize the cattle, cattle, cattle panels because they're very nice. And what I will do, let me do this quickly. I will get some ties. And this will be my trellis. You must understand, you see how I'm dressing my boots? I've been in the garden this morning since six, around 6.35. Harvesting and preparation. You want to continue with a continuous growth cycle, all right? So let me just put some real, some ties on these. And I'm going to plant, I am going to plant cucumbers. And so they'll come at different times. And you have cucumbers, a tabernacle and things like that. So I'm not going to fertilize the whole bed because everything is pretty well in here. We do test the soil to see what it needs. You need to grow things properly. You need a pH balance of soil between six, I would say six to 6.5. You can grow anything in that, all right? Look at this beautiful basil. Isn't it beautiful? The fragrance. You take this, just take some tomatoes and cucumbers. You can add a little balsamic. You talking about a salad? As my little daughter says, some lemon zest in that. So we must learn how to feed ourselves. Now this is a cattle, cattle panel. I'll use this. Now watch me what I do here. I'm gonna plant some seeds. I'm gonna plant cucumbers here. And what I will do here, the soil, I'll loose it somewhat here. I need my rake, but that's all right, what I will do. There are earthworms in here and everything, all right? They're down deep, but we have earthworms in this bed. You see what I'm doing? There's one right here. No, that's not one. And I'll set this up for cucumbers. Listen to me, even growing like this is not cheap. You can't grow without a certain amount of nitrogen fertilizer and all of that. I grow here so we have amp things for the kitchen here, for the sisters. Take a look at this right here. I want to show you this before I plant this. This was a piece of land that it was just weedy, nothing here. We built this retainer wall. And so we got all kinds of junk and metal on the other side. And this is going to be a hub bed. Nothing but all kinds of hubs that the daughters can pick for the culinary. And so I, I, I've got, I will finish this. And when I finish this, I'll let you see what we have, okay? But that's what I'm doing with that. So here I go, all right? Look at what I will do. It doesn't take long. I've got this. So what I'm going to do is build a little concave, the land like this. I want to do it like that, all right? And then this is what I would do. It does, you don't need but a tablespoon of fertilizer. I'll put a little more and put it around, okay? That's what I'll do. And then these will be the salad more bush. You, you, you have a, a small amount of space. Grow things at a bush, bush things or patio things. And that will help you. And I'll drop three seeds in each little hole, okay? Now, you don't have to do it like this. I'll show you another way. I'll show you another way how to do it. I drop three seeds in there. You can thin that out when you want to. See, that's three. Let me put four. I'll put four seeds in there. And the reason I did it like that, to show you different ways, because all of this will, you don't need a lot of dirt on it. You want to put as much dirt on a seed as the depth or the thickness, the width of the seed. So you see how big that seed is? Look at that. 
So that's all the dirt you need on that, that amount. How big the seed is, all right? So let me show you what I'll do from here. I will do it like this. You want, see the earthworms right here? See, this is a baby here. But we have earthworms and everything in this garden. See that? A little baby. But they're here, they're down low, but they're here. So what I want to do, I want to give, these are 12 inches long, 12 inches, the stakes. So I want to give about a 12 inch, maybe 18 inch distance. So I'll put a seed there. You figure that, I'll put a seed there. I can measure, I'll put a seed there. I'll put a seed there. I'll put a seed there. I'll give it about 18 inch dis uh, distance. Put a seed there. Put a seed there. And I'll put a seed there and I'll put one at the end. All right, you see that? And this is what I'll do. I will put four seeds in each hole. You don't want to put a lot of dirt over it. It's better if you want to build a little mound. I'll show you on the last ones. I'll, uh, I'll put four seeds in each one. These gloves are not the best when you're working in the garden with seeds. That hole, I'll put four seeds. So if something happens, you, you, one, one of the, that's regardless of the germination rate, I'll put four seeds in that. And I'll kind of do that, all right? You see what I've done? I'll put four seeds here, two, Four. Put a little dirt on. Don't need much. Soil is nice and moist. Two. Four. Put a little four seeds in each one. Two, four. All right. Two, three, four. Four seeds. You see that where I got all of this? I'm doing this in one continuous motion and I'll come back and fertilize four seeds here so I can identify where the seeds are because I have an impression there all right I got a lot of work to finish today four seeds there okay then I got four seeds here put another one and then I said here what I'll do here well, I'll do it on, uh, I'll, I'll do it. You can make a little mound. That's all right. Make a mound like that. You see that little mound? Put that and put your three or four seeds in there. All right? These are bush salads more. These are bush salad cucumbers. And they grow, and they grow, they're not large. You can put, they're, they're excellent for salads, all right? You see what I've done there? That's enough of these. What I will do, I will fertilize all these. Let me find, let me get a little cap. Here it is. You only need a small amount of fertilizer. Let me show you what I will do. I have Epsom salt in here and all of that. And I'll show you one day in the greenhouse how I make my fertilizer. And I'll put a little bit around that. That's really too much. But I'll put a little bit around that mound. You don't have to put it right on. Believe me, it'll get to it. I'll just sprinkle a little bit like that. That's more than enough. You see that? And with this little seed, this little, little one thing, I can just sprinkle that on there, around the bed. Enrich the soil. Make that more fresh. All right? That's once. Then what I will do is plant some of these. And I will plant in the garden today as well. These are my wife. She loves. These are salad bush. I'm going to do what they call the tangy green. It's a long cucumber, almost like a Japanese soup. Asian cucumber, the long and slender. They're like burpees. They don't have the bitterness like a lot of cucumbers. Have the big seeds and all that. They will have smaller seeds. And cucumbers, the big seeds, when they get old, it's horrible to eat. So you see how rich that soil and beautiful it is? 
composting over the many years. See, it's nice, but that doesn't mean it's rich. So I'll love it. I'll get this bed squared away. That doesn't mean that the soil is rich. Because it has the dark complexion, all right? When you utilize soil, it's not virgin soil. You have to add the supplements to it for it to produce. The only thing that will produce year after year, you must have virgin soil that we've been grown on. And if you clean it up and take all the trees and everything off, you're gonna have to wait at least about seven years for it to become virgin soil. You can plow that up and plant whatever you want and it'll grow. You may have to add a little something to it, but not much. Look at this, see how beautiful this bed is here? People will ask, you don't see the daughters of Zion out here. Well, the daughters don't work in the gardens. We don't put our women in the garden. Now, that we don't do. They cook and take care of the babies and love their husbands. And above all, they learn how to honor them. But they don't get out. The only thing the daughters will do, they will go and all of them, maybe once or twice every other week, they'll pick a meal, collard greens we have. We have collard greens in the garden. We have all kinds of stuff, Brussels sprout. And they will pick something like the uh, collard, uh, uh, collard cabbages and things like that. They'll use that. But as far as them going out there hoeing and working in the garden, that's why we men, we're up this time of the morning, we get out there and work it, all right? And our daughters make sure we eat wonderfully and healthy. So we don't put our women, our daughters of Zion, I don't even want to call them a woman, we don't put the daughters of Zion out here hoeing and working no garden. They're not gonna pick potatoes. We men will do that. Now that we don't do, all right? There are communities and places that do that. We just don't do it. We don't do it because I don't believe that men and women should work together like that. And we're not gonna put our daughters out to it. Oh, okay, let me do the, I wanna do these real tasty greens. Only 25 seeds and, they, and they're not cheap. You understand? Stuff like this is not cheap. Seeds are not cheap. Well, save your own. Oh, stop that. Well, I can't buy them. We can't buy them. You won't be able to buy them. These seeds right here. What I would do with these, I really want to put all these here. These are called tasty. So I will reduce the space a little bit. I'll go with about every... I'll put two per on these. Let me take... I, I don't want to lose one of these. Two seeds per, okay? So Tab and I could come, you visit us, we'll be eating. You'll be eating from this garden. I will put greens and things in that. So I'm gonna plant these about every 12 inches. That's it. Two seeds. That's it. 18 is preferable, but these vines don't run like some cucumbers, all right? Ah, yes. Can't get away from me. A little less than 12. But about 12 inches minimum. You plant like that, all right? And I'll show you how I will do this. About 12 inches. Two seeds. I want to get at least 12 inches. Two seeds. Two seeds. Two seeds. I love cucumbers. I love the cucumber salads. Yesterday I had fried squash, man. That was, I had okra. Oh, man. And I still got some for today. I plant all these seeds. Ah, I'll get these out a little bit. I'll put one seed. They're going to germinate. You gotta buy quality seeds, all right? You can't go to Lowe's and places. I know they sell burpees and all that, but you, they're not the best quality seed. But you see, I got that planted. And what I would do with here, I would add a little, I, I will not just fertilize. See how much I have in there? See, I would do that. And then when I water this, it'll be all right. See that? 
and then you just fertilize the whole little piece of stretch there. And what that will do, that, that root will go out and it can get nutrients from everywhere. All right? You see that? Two, two of these. And you can eat five of these plants will feed a family of five the whole, you know, if you're rotating, for a whole uh, summer of eating. And that's what they will do. So I got other cucumbers I will plant. I got squash I will put out today in what we call garden one, garden one. And I got those things to do. I say to you, my friends, become energized. Get some energy for ya, you elderly ones that are sitting home and not doing much. You know, as they have in many cities, they have the, uh, the garden space. You ought to get involved in that and go out and grow something and, and not become so sedentary, you know, sitting around and doing nothing. So you can do things like that. You all that say you really love each other and you don't live far distant from each other. You can drive community one another homes and do a little garden, do a little neat. See how neat this is? Look at this, how neat that that is. Look at these raised beds. That takes effort. This costs to do something like this. Now, you don't have to do it like this. But it's very neat. You can work from both sides. It's convenient. And then things like this, the pots. That's wonderful. You can do all of that, those kinds of things. You see the hubs here? Now you see all this is eaten up right here, isn't it? See the bugs on that? Now I let these plants like lamb quarters and stuff grow. Because I know you, but look, 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 look at the basil and stuff. Look at the, uh, you don't see any kind of bugs on this, but this is a weed right here, but it's an edible plant. And they taste very nice. So that doesn't mean I extract everything from, from something like this. And we got the peppers growing. Pepper's a difficult thing because it loves heat. We got these little totes right here. You can't, you know, a tote like this is gonna cost you $40. But the farmers around here, they have salt for their cows and things like that. They utilize this. And I could buy these in the day for a dollar, two dollars. I'd get 200 because I know I will use them. So you can do things like this or something like this raised beds where you can have plenty of food. As I say again, this is enough raised bed to feed. You can feed a community on it if you really wanted to. You got someone to work it every day. A different, uh, we're eating, look at these right here. Oh, these, these are, they're getting green, but they are, these are heirloom tomatoes. I get these from baker seeds and places like that and stuff like that. You just break that off. Look at the white cucumber. See the cukes right there? So we have plenty to eat, my friend. Fertilize everything. And there are times things are just gonna die, all right? You're gonna have some years it's gonna be bad. It all depends on the environment, everything that is taking place in the above, the rain and all that. And these here, I'm not even worried about, I'm not worried about tying them up, you know, because there's so much here. But I know what we have here, the cukes and, see how this grows, because cukes and tomatoes grow well together, they feed on each other, you understand? They do. And see what I've done here, what I've done here, I've got to get out here and tie everything up. I've been somewhat busy hauling wood, but I get all that done. What I have right here. These are growing. What I have right here is cucumbers growing in this bag. I put some older seeds out here. They have not germinated yet. We'll see. And so that's what I put out here. These were old seeds. And that's why you'll see them so many. And so the cukes will vine up here. They will grow up on this. I use this kind of, this is, when I say expensive, these are the things that we are going printing, like this organic cotton soil right here. And I use this, but it costs though. And so if you want healthy food, you gotta do things healthy. Well, learn how to grow, my friends. You gotta take your time to teach yourself. And I would say to anyone, 
You can go on Amazon.com, eBay, all kinds of books on gardening and farming. Beautiful cherry tomato. Mmm. Mm. All kinds of books. And I will recommend you purchase one. It is called the Bible of Gardening. It gives you all the basics of what you need. And if you get those basics, you, 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 you can make it work. It's not hard, but it's... This would not be hard to grow. And this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You figure nine forms of growth. You don't need as many tomatoes, a couple of cherry tomato plants and slicing tomatoes and things like that. You don't need as much as we need in a communal construct. And you could just grow three or four, three bears at a time. And that one, then grow these. And you will have a cycle of food every day of the year except in climates that are inclement places like chicago and the cities whereby it is just viciously cold but in the southern beyond below virginia and places like that you can grow all the time you can even in maryland and places like that because there's a lot of farmland in places like maryland and different places all right so i want to share that with you today and the next time we will show you one of the most main resources that you're going to need uh, people trying to start communities there was a group that there were several of them a couple of them that contacted me but i'm not a very likable person people don't like me they will call me every kind of thing because i'm not here to play i'm too old i've never played i don't play with men or women i don't play with children I'm not cold, and I'm not trying to defend myself. But, you know, people can't come here, the women dress any kind of way. The men, you can't come here with dresses on. So the women can't come here with pants on. You're not coming here with your shorts on and laying back and drinking your brewbee and drinking your wine coolers. You're not coming here with that. Not here. You can go other places. They'll let you do that. But here, you can't come and do that. You're not bringing your girlfriend, you call her a girl, I thought, you, you would think that you would be your, your issue, and, I, and you're going to stay on these grounds. You're not going to do that. You're not going to come to our tabernacle, all hugged up, she dressed half naked, and your pants falling off your buttocks. You got all your seek seeks on, and you think you're righteous. It's silly. So there are things I'm not going to permit. We have a beautiful place, very comfortable community. I love living here. I've lived three quarters of my life here. And I love it. I'm getting older. I like the richness of my dark skin, working in the sun. I'm getting older every day. And I'm going to die here. And they're going to bury me here on these grounds. I understand that. But I love living here among the comradeship uh, ship of the Achim, the fellowship, and just working together. I, I was talking to one of our Ak. Uh, I said to him, I was in the garden hoeing the corn and, and making sure and I said, we have other corn that we we'll want to plant. We got corn that will come in in 80 days, right at Tabernacle. Some in 72 days, because uh, who doesn't like roasted corn? Uh, a corn potato boil with uh, homemade, uh, homemade uh, sausages, beef and chicken, uh, and no pork. And you don't even have to question whether it's pork. You buy it in the store, they will tell you no pork ingredients, but you don't know. We know for fact, nothing unclean is in ours, all right? And we don't charge you to come and eat and fellowship with us. There are places you got to pay. You bring your tent. Bring your tent. But as far as eating, uh, you gain some weight if you come here and see what we're doing. And as far as you trying to instruct us, don't come with your foolishness. And young men are prone for that. And your sisters that think that I, you're smart, you're prone for that. You don't come here and do that because my Imer affair will quickly set you in your place. Your young ones shut your mouth, and you watch the beauty of the old ones. You young men, you're not coming here with that. I'll tell you that. I have put them off these grounds at Tabernacle, as far as away from Philadelphia, as far as away from Canada, as far as away from Atlanta. Get off the ground. And by the way, I gave them monies too. I put them off the ground. You don't come here with that. I did that one day, one year, and that was a family, a huge family from Missouri. And the brother walks up to me, he said, Riyadh, we have never seen this done. 
We went to another fellowship the year, last year. There was a man that came on the ground. He brought such confusion and disturbance, everyone was afraid. I said he would not have done that here. Because I would told him, get, I said this way, get your ass off these crowds now. I'm not going to allow you to do that. You come, you be quiet. We don't need your teaching. We need to see how you live and love. That is enough to teach. You see, a mama talk to her baby, but the child doesn't understand. As the child grows, it understands. So the child watch mama, and the child emulates mama, or he emulates his father. May the riches of your rest upon you all be encouraged, nation. And uh, we'll try to keep the videos coming, even through the winter and all that. We'll show you the concept of communal work and how we live, how we eat our homes, and everything that is not as expensive as to what you spend. There was a man here years back. At that time, he asked me, how much do you all pay for electric? I say, our electric bill average around $2,200, $2,200 a month. His reply to me was, Ria Weed, my brother's house, electric bill is more than that a month. And we have buildings, nearly 40 buildings here, homes and buildings and huge workshops, buildings like that in our homes. And all of us look comfortable. Our elders of one, we make sure that the old ones have an air conditioning. They can stay cool. But as far as me, I don't need one. I don't sleep with one. I haven't slept with one for the last nearly 30 years. I'm not going to kill myself that way. I come out here and work and cool down. It's a beautiful day today. So, Yabarak, you all, we encourage. We bless you all. We appreciate you all as well. Put your comments. Criticize me. I have no compunction with that. You notice I don't answer the thing because I have no problem with you criticizing me, all right? I will continue to tell you the truth. May the riches of Yah rest upon you all in the blessed assurance of the name of Yahshua HaMashiach. Yabrak. Shalom, shalom. Work to do now. Oh. My mushroom coffee. I just got this from Malaysia. I love it. For many years I've drank it. It's called mushroom. Quite expensive, all right? Yabrak.